Everything's good. It feels great. Uh, you're here. We got you coming back. Um, you're going to be coming back on May 28th uh, on the undercard of Tank Davis, Rolly Romero. Tell me what that feels like for you. Well, he said it feels great to be part of such a big event and he's ready to, to shine on the uh, Today, I just watched the shadow box and move around the ring. I got to tell you, man, you've been around forever, but you look fresh. You look great. Good. What's going on? Your legs okay? You look good. He said, yeah, he feels fresh. He's been doing the hard work in the gym when he needs to do it. making sure he's resting his body. And it showed in the last bout. Uh, one punch, devastating KO. Uh, that was kind of out. Uh, take us back to that knockout. What do you remember about that? He said, you know, I'm going to go to the knockout. The knockout just came by itself. He said the first round he just wanted to go out there and work hard and, and throw his punches, and the knockout came. Uh, with the knockout coming so quickly, um, are you a little disappointed that you didn't get uh, maybe enough rounds in? Did you feel like you didn't get enough rounds or did you approach it like that? Most of the young fighters today say they don't get paid for overtime. Dice que como solo pasó en un round, que te sientes un poquito enojado que no fueron los rounds. No, no, me siento bien. Me siento bien, no se fue la distancia, me siento bien. De verdad que un trabajo que se hizo en el gimnasio y salió. Dice, no, 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 no,
y que dile a ellos que cómo te sentiste cuando llegaste a escuchar la hermosa de la He said, man, he felt real happy for him. He said, those guys are real good guys. They're, they're real hard workers. And he felt like he won the fight fair and square. And he sealed it with a knockout. And he's real happy for them. Like they're great fighters. Uh, lastly, I want you to talk about the adjustments that you saw Charlie make. Uh, what do you think was the difference between Jamel in the first fight and the second fight? Yes, he fought a real good fight. He was fighting inside and out. He was able to box him and hit him and get in and out. And then that way, the way he fought him this way, he was a clear winner. Uh, lastly, your goal is at 160 pounds. Uh, you got champions, uh, Jamel Charlo and Jamal Charlo. And you got another champion, Demetrius uh, Andre. If you had to choose, which one would you want to fight? ¿Cuál es tu meta en el peso 160? Tiene un campeón de Mo Charlo que tiene el WBC, tiene a Andrade, que tiene el WBO, que entre ese dos cuartos que estaría peleando. Yo soy muy bueno, 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 yo soy Thank you, Luis Suarez. That's Friday, Laura. Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV. Thank you for the time, gentlemen. Thank you. All right, All right. What?